Okay. Hello, folks. The next item we're going to look at is is made by Line Six, which is a musical instruments and and effects manufacturer. They've been around for a long time. They make digital effects and they make amplifiers as well for your musicians and uh, any musical gear for the studio. So they make a lot of stuff, musical gear, including amps and effects. That's Line 6. And this unit here is called the Line 6 M5. And what it is, as you can see here, it's a stomp box modeler. So what it is, it's the same thing as uh, guitar pedals, like a delay pedal, a distortion pedal, a reverb pedal, and it packs all those pedals inside here, or digital clones of them. You know, it does a digital reproduction of the sounds that those pedals get. So you have delay pedals, you have modulation pedals, distortion pedals, filter pedals, and reverb pedals. So that's five different, and within those five different categories you have stuff in between like you have fast delays slow delays stereo delays mono delays and same thing with distortion you have light distortion heavy distortion reverb you have hall reverb you have plate reverbs so there's lots of categories within those things so this line six stomp box is made of really good heavy duty steel metal and i've put some stickers on them just to help me operate this thing according to my taste you can do whatever you want but i this is easier for me to work because it's just easier for me to work when i'm performing on stage and when it's dark you can see these white pieces of paper that i've taped on here and put tape over them with little arrows showing uh, how to get to my patch so let's look at the back of this thing and looking at the back, we can see back, back here that it's got some inputs back here, and inputs and outputs. It's got an input and output. It's got an input for an expression pedal, which is like volume pedal, which allows you to modify the sound that you're playing in real time. And then you have an input, and this is a stereo unit, by the way. You have a left input and a right input and the left output and the right output. So your guitar, your instrument goes on these inputs and the outputs go to your board or your amplifier, whatever you're using to play the sound through. So let's see, the side over here, one side, one of the sides here, it's got some MIDI connectors. You've got a MIDI in and MIDI out in case you have a MIDI pedal that you want to control the patches externally by sending MIDI signals in there and in the front is you know it's pretty plain and basic it's just a flat piece of metal it's folded over and then the other side is blank it just doesn't have anything on it so that's the unit itself and as you can see back here actually all around her there's no on and off switch the unit comes on when you put the power in there so and then you'll see that it's got some knobs on top here. And these are knobs where when you come up with a patch on the screen here, you can adjust the parameters like how loud you want your effect, the mix of your effect, how loud do you want it mixed into guitar signal or instrument signal, and all kinds of other parameters. And like for reverb, you have like how fast you want the reverb to go in and out, and the same thing with uh, delay. You have how fast you want the delay to happen, whether it's stereo or mono, and then with all these little knobs here, you can fine tune that effect, whatever effect you happen to have on there. Let's uh, see if we can power this up just to see what the screen looks like here. So we're gonna try that. If you can see, I've powered it up by plugging the cord into the back of the unit where it says power plug it back there and then the unit comes right on and there's a little screen that pops up and it's an orange screen and this you can 
with this screen you can access all the parameters of that particular patch so that's what happens with this you can look at this patch here and all these knobs correspond to the to this patch this happens to be a reverb patch and you can control the decay the milliseconds of it the tone and the mix from the raw signal so with these four you can do that and then this is an, another knob for, that's functional for other patches and then this here selects your your patch within uh, within that category so that's how that works right there and then when you want to go into the functioning part of it after you're done ed editing you press these two at the same time and the screen turns blue and then you can save those settings to a patch name and since that's a reverb I've saved that to reverb and there it is right there and you can see the arrows pointing to that and you'll notice that the way I program this is there's two blank spaces in between this so if I go up it'll go to the next patch but there's always a blank in between them so there's reverb a space a patch I've named Isley space a patch where I've named TalkBlock space a patch where I've named Octave Up so every other one is a space that means there's nothing there and it goes through through the unit without filtering the sound so with this when it's on octave up the unit will go will go produce an octave sound from the signal that's coming in but then when I go like this it bypasses that and there's nothing there so it's in between there so it's just an easier way of making sure that the sound is off or on the effect is off or on because I don't, I don't see anything there I know it's off so that's just a particular way I program it so that's it for that functionality and then like I said it's got a built-in tuner like if you hold this so right button for a while it says hold for tuner if you hold it you can see it goes into tuning mode then you can get out of it by pressing it again so it's a pretty simple way of going through the patches so you just go right through here and this will go through the patches and like I said if you want to get into edit that then all you got to do is press both of these buttons at the same time like this and there's your editing screen you can edit like I said with these knobs here and edit that screen and then when you want to get out of it just press these two again and you're back into the regular uh, functioning screen so that's a quick run through of the line 6 m5 stomp box monitor thanks a lot folks